What is up guys, Adrian here from Losh TV, and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be discussing the latest information that came out from Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. So for all that information and more, stay tuned for after the intro. Alright, before we dive into the meat of this video being the tickets that were announced along with the dates, I want to give you guys a huge thank you for being so supportive lately. My last few videos, the views have been there. You guys are amazing. Let's keep going. Let's keep this trend going all the way through till haunt season and through haunt season. So with all that being said, let's dive straight into this with the first thing that I want to talk about today being the tweet that came from Halloween Horror Nights at 12.22 p.m. that stated, it's time to summon your Scream Squad. With a picture down below that featured a wall that Edutainment said, if you guys don't know Edutainment, go check out his channel. He said it resembles the Bly Manor wallpaper that says, never go alone, which is our same slogan from last year, yes. However, it is in a different font. It looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. Along with that, we also have our dates. Now our dates will be going from Friday, September 2nd, through Monday, October 31st. Now that we roughly know our dates, they go from Friday to Sunday almost every single night with not a single Monday or Tuesday included. And that also includes Wednesday, September 14th. Usually there's always one day that's blacked out. Could be for a special event, not 100% sure. But the single night tickets, they do vary in price. They start at $73.99 and they go all the way up to $104.99. Now that more expensive ticket option will be showing up towards the end of the event more on Saturdays, which is usually the peak time during Horror Nights when it's very busy. I personally love going to Horror Nights in September. I feel like it is the best time to go. The crowd isn't there, it's not as expensive, and you still have a lot of fun. Granted, I also enjoy going throughout the whole run of the event, but I feel like the prime time to go is at the beginning of the event or the very last weekend. Those two weekends are fantastic, and honestly, I have a blast. So that's my opinion on single nights when you guys should go. I personally buy the multiple night tickets. Those are not out yet. Don't get scared. They should be releasing sometime later, but as of right now, we don't have them. Along with the single night ticket admissions, we also do have confirmation that we are going to have 10 haunted houses, 5 scare zones, and to the shock, 2 shows. Now here's my question. We know where the five locations for the scare zones are typically going to be. We know where the ten houses will most likely be. Where is that second show going to be located? Is it going to be at Fear Factor? Is it going to be accessible this year? Is it going to be at Animal Actors? Are they going to use a pop-up stage? There are so many options that I just don't know what can happen. But I'm excited to see what will happen. Along with the dates, the confirmation of houses, scare zones, and shows, and the prices of tickets, we also got two tours announced, which are our typical tours that we have all the time, which actually is one that you're watching right now on the screen, which is the Unmasking the Horror Tour, which I did for the first time last year, and I highly recommend it. Now there are two different tours here, the first one being the Three House Tour, which starts out at $79.99, and the second tour being the six house tour which would bring you about $129.99 now both of these are starting point prices they do shoot up in price depending on the day that you decide to go if you guys want more information on the unmasking the horror tour let me know down below and I'll probably make a whole video dedicated to that because I most likely will be attempting to go out there this year for one of these and now finally the last tour that we will be discussing is the RIP tour which in terms is basically like a VIP tour which gives you front of the line access to every single attraction, every single ride. And then when you finish your RIP tour, you have unlimited express for rides, which is pretty awesome. But the starting point for pricing for this is $249.99. And like I said, that is the starting point, meaning that it only gets higher from here. I've never personally done an RP tour, so I can give you my honest opinion, but everything that I've heard from other people is tremendous things and that it is just amazing. So if you're going out to Horror Nights just for one night and you don't know if you can do everything, try an RP tour. Maybe you'll be able to enjoy it that much. And then finally, we're also confirmed that we got some new merch. And along with that, they showed us the picture of the merch 
and it is a ringer t-shirt that says Halloween Horror Nights 2022 on the front side. And on the back side, it says Never Go Alone, same as it does on the logo. And well, that's all the information that we got today from Halloween Horror Nights. If you guys are excited as I am for this event, let me know down below. Comment down below when you think our next announcement is going to be. Subscribe if you guys already haven't done so. And while you guys are at it, why don't you go ahead and check out my speculation videos. They're right there for both of you to see. You know, you got Orlando or Hollywood. So, choose your poison. Say excellent, my dudes.